Hi everybody and welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big every single time and it doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we have you covered. So before we get into some NFL picks for December the 5th, I want to invite you to join so you'll have access to the VIP club section which has all the tools that you need to make your picks. So we're getting really down to the home stretch of the NFL season and the playoff positions are starting to really take shape but there's still a lot to be played. So let's take a look at some of the games for Sunday. We have a lot of games here. We're not going to look at all of them. We're going to take a look at five as we customarily do. So I'm going to scroll down through and take a look at some of the more key matchups that I feel for this week. And the first one I want to look at here is this game right here featuring... The Los Angeles Chargers and the Cincinnati Bengals. The AFC West meets the, NFC, uh, the AFC North in this showdown. You see Cincinnati is burning hot at the moment. They have won their last two and four out of their last six. While the Chargers are ice cold down, they are coming off of a loss and they have lost four out of their last six. The Bengals are a three and a half point home favorite with odds of 1.59 to 2.352 and the over under is set right now at 50.5. The score prediction has the Bengals in a 37-8 to blowout, but take heed with that because the confidence of prediction right now is only 40%. Take a look at that as it gets closer and closer to the game. If you take a look at the power ranking indicator, you can see right now that the Chargers are plus 20 while the Bengals are plus 19. So according to this, it's a very close matchup, and the spread is showing it itself as being a close matchup as well at 3.5 points. Um... If you take a look at the totals predictor, if you're considering the over and under, you can see here that the Chargers are trending in games under the line, while the Bengals are also trending in games under the line. This is a good indication to bet the under. If you're looking at the uh, stability factor, how well are they performing according to their favorite underdog status, you can see that uh, neither team has done very well in that regard at 0 and minus 1. Let's take a look to see if there has been any, any line movement, and you can see... Uh, it opened here, this is the Bengals line at 1.901, and has moved up and has leveled off at 1.59. So you can see that they are more of a favorite now than they were before. So what I think about this game is I really believe that the Bengals will win and cover. Tampa Bay and Atlanta, I'm not going to look at that one for this week. Jacksonville and the Rams. Washington and Las Vegas. Right now, Washington is playing very good football. They have won their last three. You can see that they're burning hot at the moment. And again, with that three-game winning streak. And the Raiders are average, uh, breaking a three-game losing streak with a win over the Cowboys. The Raiders are two-and-a-half-point home favorite, with odds of 1.69 to 2.136, and the over-under is set at 49.5. The score prediction has the Raiders by 9, 25-16, with a confidence in prediction of 57%. So if that holds true, the readers would win in cover and would go under the line. So let's see what I think about this. First, let's take a look at the power ranking indicator. You see that Washington has a slight edge now at plus 10. And the readers who were up at plus 26 have dropped considerably. They are at plus 9 at the moment. If you consider the over and under, you can see Washington trending slightly over the line. And the Raiders under the line. I would avoid betting the over-under on this one. How stable have the two teams been? As you look here, you can see that the Raiders have been very unstable. They're not consistently performing according to their favorite underdog status. While the Redskins, or the, excuse me, Washington football team ha is over zero. They're at plus three, so they have been pretty consistent. All right, so let's take a look at the money line then. You take a look at how the money line has moved. This is the Raiders money line. You can see they start at uh, 1.8. And you can see they have increasingly become more of a favorite there. It's now at 1.69. So the money line has moved. I do like the Raiders to win this game. I do believe that um, they will cover. And I'm looking for a lower scoring game. So I'll bet under the line. Baltimore and Pittsburgh. In this classic AFC North battle, the Steelers host the Ravens. You see the Steelers are average status at the moment. They have lost their last two and haven't won a game since November the 8th. 
The Ravens are burning hot. They're winners of their last two and four of their last six. The Ravens are a road favorite by four and a half points with odds of 1.45 to 2.692 and the over-under is set at 44.5. The score prediction has the Ravens by a 35 to 16 blowout win with 54% level of confidence. If this holds true, that would be over the line and the Ravens to cover. The power ranking indicator has the Ravens now on the upward trend at plus 27, while the Steelers are on the downward trend at plus 18. The Ravens have been, have been trending in games under the line the last three weeks, while the Steelers have been over the line the last two weeks. So in this case, I like to avoid the over-under. Take a look at the stability factor. How well have the teams been performing according to their favorite underdog status? You see Baltimore at plus one. Pittsburgh at zero, so really neither team has been uh, extremely stable in that regard. Let's take a look at the money line. Let's look at how the money line has moved here. The Ravens money line, you see it opened at uh, 1.592. And look at that, it has climbed. It is now at 1.45. So the Ravens are even a stronger favorite now than they were before. I do like the Ravens to win. I do like the Ravens to cover, but I would avoid the over-under. San Francisco and Seattle. In the NFC West battle, the 49ers enter Seattle burning hot, winners of their last three, four out of their last five. Seattle is just dead in the water right now. They have lost their last three and five out of their last six. San Francisco is a solid three and a half point road favorite with odds of 1.51 to 2.542 with an over under 45.5. According to the score prediction, the 49ers win in a blowout 40 to 17 with a high level of confidence of 78 percent this would not just cover the spread this would also put the game over the line the power ranking indicator shows that 49ers are on the upward trend at plus 16 and seattle is down at plus two let's take a look at the money line you can see that the line has been increasingly favoring San Francisco starting at 1.9 and now at 1.51. There's very little for me to believe that, this, that Seattle can stay in this game. I believe that the 49ers win and I cover and I figure it will be a higher scoring game going over the line. Denver and Kansas City. This is the last game we want to look at for the week. In this AFC West battle, you see the Chiefs are now on a roll. They have won their last four and they are taking over in the, which is really still a pretty tight division. While Denver and his average status, they are coming off of a loss with a win, and they have won three out of their last four and three out of their last six. But you can see the odds are heavily in favor of Kansas City. Nine and a half point favorite with odds of 1.21 to 4.26, and the over-under set at 47.5. The score prediction uh, may be a little bit surprising. It has Kansas City, you know, fairly comfortable by a nine point margin, 29 to 20. But that would actually make it that Denver would cover. Now the confidence of prediction is 57%, and that would also put the game over the line. The power rankings indicator shows that the Chiefs are on an upward trend, plus 26. Denver on a downward trend at plus 11. Teams clearly are going in opposite directions. Um, the over-under is showing that both teams have been under the line. Look at this. Denver has been under the line in games under the line for the last five weeks. Kansas City under the line in the five out of the last six. I do actually like the under in this one. Um, let's take a look at the money line. Has it changed much? It really has, interestingly, not changed a whole lot. It started at 1.2, and you see it stayed steady, stayed steady. It dipped here to a little bit to 1.3, 1.23, but now back to 1.21. So the Chiefs remain a very heavy favorite. I like the Chiefs to win and cover to avoid the over under bet so there you have it those are the games for this week happy betting and we will see you next time